if you start to reload in volume, you may want to look into some new equipment to assist you to speed up the process a little bit. There are lots of equipment out there starting from just simple turret style presses where you can have more than one die on there so you don't have to spend time removing dies. Uh, there are things like the Dillon press which can range from I think the basic setup is around a grand and I've seen a full-blown setup somewhere up to five or six thousand dollars but it's up to you if you have that kind of budget but if you're trying to keep it at a minimal and you do want to speed up some of the processes like depriming and things like that little ap press i think i paid 190 dollars for it and it has been amazing now it has had a couple of upgrades I will turn the camera out and show you what they are. So the first thing I did was buy this multiple tube assembly because they only come with one and I can fill in all four tubes and then rotate them as I go so I don't have to stop to reload it all the time. You can actually go to the trouble of buying a Dillon feeder and that will connect to the top of one of these tubes where you don't need this whole setup and it'll just keep feeding them down, but I think it's around $800. And what I've done is I've actually gotten a quick, quick change caliber system, which I, it's 3D printed. If you've got a 3D printer, you could print it yourself. I don't have one, so I had it made for me. And basically when I want to change out a caliber, it's a little bit hard to show it with a with the brass in there, but as you can see, it popped out. That one pops in, so that's my 223. I have it running all the way to 300 Win Mag. All I have to do is pop that out, put it in, and it's set. I don't have to unbolt or bolt anything else, and it'll work. So you basically pop your brass in. The only thing you've got to remember here is put, put it the right way down, otherwise you'll run into problems, obviously. And as you can see, as I drop them in, they just come up the tube. I can't remember the count till it gets to the top. And then, as I pull the lever, it'll pop across. Now you just gotta make sure that the holder's lined up when you first screw it in. And that'll, that's popped in. That'll go across. And as I go down, the other one has dropped, that's deprimed it, down, across, down, across, a stubborn primer there, across, and it's that simple. And as fast as you can pull that handle down, you're depriming a piece of brass. And another good thing is, the primers, you've got to watch that, it happens every now and then, so I just usually pop them, usually on the last bit of brass, so I stop a bit before, and I top it up before I get to that stage. And down the bottom here, it's even got a primer catcher. So they're not going all over the floor. So yep, that's a hell of a lot of primers. So I've got 12 bits of brass in there. Let's see how quick it is to deprime them. almost less than a brass a second so that's pretty quick so if you've got 50 or 100 rounds to do you'll get through them in no time so in less than four and a half minutes i do primed 80 pieces of brass now that's pretty quick so you're doing it at 12 at a time i always stop at number 10 because on the last two you've got to go slower because there's no weight on top of the brass as it's coming down and it tends to topple over as you saw before but if you stop at number 10 keep topping up keep going till you know another 10 and then on the last two you just go slow you'll get through them but um that's my little tip for today